Hey, how's it going, guys? So we just finished Dallas Regionals. I have with me Travis the Ball. And what place did you get? I got 29th. 29th place. Awesome. And what were you playing that got you 29th place? I was playing straight Gardevoir GX. Straight Gardevoir GX. Yes. Awesome. All right, so let's get into the deck profile and see exactly what you were running. Okay, so let's start with the Pokemon. Okay, so start with the normal routes. But actually, I'm playing the Cybolt routes. So, oops. <laughs> so, as many people know, the Paralyzing Gaze Zero is one of the most popular ones, and it's gotten really expensive. Ralts is actually has the same one. So we flip for Paralysis. It's just, I mean, it's not that much better, but it's good to have. Did this help you out in any of your matches? Um, I think two or three rounds, I was able to stall one or two turns, mm -hmm. and that was that gave me the ability to either set up for next turn or my ability to keep drawing until I found something to get out of my route. So defensively is how you use it to kind of stall, to kind of get an extra turn to kind of recover. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. After that, we have two Curlia. I have one of the Psychic and one of the of the Fairy one. Fairy is weak to dark, or Fairy is resistant to dark, so it's good against Zorark. They need, instead of just needing, since it has 80 HP, instead of needing just 4 Pokemon, they need 5 Pokemon. It's usually not that relevant, but we'll get to a different card in my list that I play, a Parallel City, which makes it a lot more important. The Psychic one, it does 30 damage for 2 heads, it's okay. Um, maybe I should have played 2 Fairy Curlia, but... Um, just to diversify my weaknesses. Were you running the Psychic to kind of, because you had anticipated like Buzzwald or something that, like Garb, because mm -hmm. I know that some Garbs made it to day two. Yeah, I actually played against, my first run was Jimmy Pendarvis who was playing Drop a Garb, mm -hmm. and I had a chance to, well if I had drawn the energy, I had a chance to kill his Garbodor with Quick Turn. So Quick Turn does, uh, it says flip two coins, uh, do 30 damage for each heads, and if I hit two heads, you can actually KO the Garbodor, nice. which has 120 HP. Yeah. But um, other than that, I didn't really have a, t a chance to use it. And when you're using it, you're probably on the bad end anyways. Right. So I think I should just play two of the Curlia ones just to further resistance. Because Parallel was pretty big in my matchups. Awesome. Okay. And of course, the big hitters, we have three Gardevoir GX. Nice. The mainstay of the deck, I'm sure everyone knows what Gardevoir does. If you don't know, you, know, you probably don't play the Pokemon card game right now. But this card is bulky, it resists Zorark, um, hits like a truck, and even against that, those lone, like, I mean those stray, like, Drumpa Garb decks, it's amazing. Like, it, it basically killed off, everyone knows it basically killed off the Garbodor decks. So. Gardevoir okay. overall is just a great card. Yeah, it's both on the defensive side, it's really great because it, it is very stocky, it has 230 HP. It's one of the highest Pokemon in the format right mm -hmm. now, except for Waylord. Yeah. And at the same time, it comes in attacking extremely hard as well. Yes, exactly. And especially in Expanded, I think that Gardevoir is even better in Expanded because there's no steel prominence at all. And we have access to teammates. So. You, what you're able to do is you can bait out a knockout and then after that you can just teammates for another, maybe another fairy energy or a choice band and a DCE and that's an extra 90 damage because Gardevoir just does 30 damage for each energy and it's great for revenge kills. Nice. And probably, and then the next card of the Gardevoir line, and the last one, maybe the MVP of the weekend just because Zorark is such such a great card is Gallade. So Gallade, fighting type, does 130 damage, is able to stack my deck, I get to search the first five, which was great, it's excellent synergy with Octillery, which is coming up next. And it does 130, and of course Zorak's weak to fighting, so, so it knocks it out really easily. Yeah. Do you feel that, now moving forward, now that you've played with this deck and expanded, do you feel a second Gallade is probably necessary? Um, I really like second Gallade. I was trying to find space for it, but I couldn't. Um, I was really scared of Night March though, so I actually have two Rescue Stretchers. I don't have 
Well, I don't have super rods, mm -hmm. like which most standard lists run. Right. Yeah. So I'm able to stream Gallade that way. Okay. Cool. Okay. Right. So afterwards, let's move on to other Pokemon. Oops. So another mainstay in every deck, Tapu Lele GX. I run three to make sure I get my bridge out on turn one, which is excellent. Um, I mean, I can pick any, like, just having a support of any choice is great. Right. Okay. Next. Yeah. And I have, next, I was actually running a 2-1 Octillery line. Nice. And running the 2-1, how do you, is this one of the ways that you were baiting? Yeah, uh, one of the ways I was baiting, and also, like, just being able to play two two Remoraids, like, because I run two Rescue Stretcher, mm -hmm. it was a lot easier for me to bring Octillery back. And Octillery is one of the easiest ways for me to make sure I keep my deck running, especially with Gallade, where I can just choose my top five, and maybe I just have two cards, so I'll put the top three that I want, and then Octillery. So, awesome. great card. Uh, after that, I have two one ofs for my Pokemon. I have a Alolan Vulpix and a Oracorio. So as everyone knows, Alolan Vulpix is really good. No energy needed. We can search it for two Pokemon. I have a stage two line. It's very hard to find Pokemon sometimes. I mean, you need a bunch of Pokemon just to do it. Right. So Beacon's amazing. Beacon is awesome, especially with a deck that's very evolution heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. All right. So let's move on to your. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, go ahead. Or a Corio. So this card has been really like, even in not the Night March matchup, um, this card has been really good just because a lot of po like a lot of Zorak decks. They run a lot of Pokemon. Mainly this card is for Night March, which I do think Gardevoir has a slightly harder matchup. Like, I think it's slightly favored in Night March's favor. I thought it was more than that before, but it, actually if you can get Gardevoir running, it's not that bad. Right. And with my double stretcher, it allowed me to combat Night March a lot easier. Did you ever play, because there was a couple of Vesu Queen Zorak variants mm -hmm. running around, did you ever play against one of them? No, I didn't, but I wasn't scared just because... Because they, of the Oricorio? Yeah, yeah, because of Oricorio. They would need, let's see, 21 Pokemon, or they'd need 19... Plus 18, choice 18 in choice band. Yeah. And then after that, 18 Pokemon means two Vesu Queens can be knocked out just by Supernatural Dance. Yes. Which is awesome. Okay, so let's move on to the supporters. Mm -hmm. okay. So, my supporter line, um, I made a lot of changes. Well, not a lot of changes, but since San Jose, I thickened up my supporter line. So, I have three Sycamore staple in most decks, actually. Not every deck, because we know Zorak is obviously king right now. Mm -hmm. And they don't run too many... Well, some decks don't run too many Sigmarts. I saw a lot of decks running just one. But it's a great card. Just refreshes your hand, get seven. Um, helps me hit stuff I need, like Rare Candy. Right. Next, I think this is the card, the sport I use the most this tournament, is Colrez. Colrez, yeah. And I love Colrez, just because... I can draw for 10 plus. 10 plus, yeah. <laughs> Especially when your opponent like overextends with Zorark and just drops a bunch of Pokemon with Skyfield. Exactly. You just chorus for a lot, then you drop a parallel and punish them for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So a lot of my matches, I would run into Zorark. Of course, they play Skyfield. Um, they'd pseudo -wood A lot of the time, they would pseudo Wudo me. But even then, like, just having so, like, the ability to pull res for 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever I get, like a huge number, was able to just give me every piece I needed to knock them back out. Hit. After that, I added another N since San Jose. Um, I think N has been essential just because Zorark gets um, basically their whole deck into their hands. Mm -hmm. Like they'll trade, 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 trade. And then, or they'll chorus for a lot. Yeah. Trade, 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 trade. Exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> Almost like every game against, at least the Skyfall variants, Zorak would have maybe like 15 cards in hand. Their their hand was bigger than the deck most of the game, 
and a lot of times when you're, well, I mean, end just a great card. You need to, need to close out games, so you end them to maybe two, you end them to three, and after that, because we have artillery, we're able to to recover from that. Cool. Yep. Another staple card, of course, is Bridget. Every game, almost every game, I mean, almost every game, you want to Tapu Lele for Bridget, or just play Bridget. Gets three Ralts or or two, two Ralts, Ralts and, and a Remoraid, two Ralts and a Rem or two Ralts and a Vulpix, exactly. Or even <laughs> if you have a Ralts already, you can have Ralts, Vulpix, and Remoraid. Mm -hmm. And you just need to set up. It's your best setup card, at nice. least for the beginning of the game. Nice. After that, I have three one ups. I have Guzma, teammates, and Acerol. Okay, so Gardevoir used to play a lot of max potions, but now we moved to Acerol. Well, I moved to Acerol because it's a lot harder for me to just like discard all my energy. Like usually, I want a lot of energy on a Pokemon, and just like. Using max, I mean, I, I haven't had much space in my list, but Acer Roll, you can at least versus Seeker for it. Mm -hmm. Even though it does pick it to your hand, that can also help a lot. Yes. And it conserves the energy, mm -hmm. so if you have two or three Gardevoir, you can Acer Roll and then Seeker Spring. Seeker Spring the energies that you picked up from that Gardevoir onto different ones. Awesome. Teammates, probably the best one of I have in here. Well, I mean, they're all great one ofs. Yes. But teammates, just re it was able for it made me able to revenge kill so many times i think in every well in all my wins i teammates was one of the most essential cards just because i was able to pick up every like two cards that i needed just right off the bat and of course guzma everyone loves guzma just pick one other pokemon and kill it <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> all right so let's move on to the items yep okay so let's Oh. Okay, so for my A spec of choice, of course, it is Computer Search. While I do like other cards, maybe I consider Scoop Up Cyclone just because picking up a Pokemon is really great. Computer Search is the best consistency card. It lets you get whatever piece you need back into your hand. Exactly. Or get it into your hand. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of the times instead of Ultra Balling for Lele for Bridget, you can Computer Search for Bridget. That, and especially with Pseudo Wudo running around, bench space is kind of limited. And actually the Drumpa Garb decks, they played Parallel City. So, <laughs> that helped a lot when I played Jimmy. Nice. Even though I, in the end I did lose. Oh. Um, that's a funny story in it, so. <laughs> Let's see, so... For four ups, I have four versus seeker. That's me play any supporter I want. That's in my discard, of course. So um, maybe in a game I'll play three teammates just off my versus seekers. And with Gardevoir, you have Twilight GX. So if I really needed it, I could versus seeker for. I mean, I could Twilight GX for all my versus seekers back and play them all again. All again, yeah. Yep. Next we have four Ultra Ball. Uh, Ultra Ball, staple in every deck, uh, discard two, pick a Pokemon, you definitely need it when, well it's great for Octillery because you lower your hand size, but of course this, for especially evolution decks, mm -hmm. you need every piece that you can get. Yeah, exactly. And then speaking of evolution decks, we have four rare candies, so it allows me to evolve my route straight into Gardevoir, Gallade. This is one of the pieces I'd pick up a lot with teammates. So for teammates, you'd get... Um, if I had the energy hat, of course, I would just rare candy into Gardevoir, Gallade. Um, you can rare candy, like teammates for rare candy and Gallade. And if you have DC in hand, that already kills the Zorark. So, and that puts you in an advantageous situation a lot of the time. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Then I have two choice bands. It just helps my damage power. Gardevoir hits hard. It doesn't really help for Gallade much, but for Gardevoir, it's just an extra 30 damage as with the energy. After that, we have two Rescue Stretcher. I love Rescue Stretcher just because it allows me to aggressively discard my Pokemon. And then and bring them back. And bring them back. Or if they kill my Gallade, I can just stream Gallade. 
or stream a Gardevoir, or even just like pick up a Ralts. And right. of course I said Oracorio, which is great for the Night March match. Well, the only way you win the Night March matchup, really. Mm -hmm. Unless the, you just open like really strong. Right. Okay. And for my last two cards, they're one ofs. I have an energy retrieval. So energy lets me put two basic energies back into my hand. Amazing with Gardevoir. Just play that, that's 60 extra damage. Easy to do with Secret Spring. And it's much better to get them in your hand instead of in the deck, kind of like with Super Rod. Yeah, exactly. It helps my damage output a lot more. Super Rod's good for recovery. This, I would basically, well, it's recovery too, but straight into my hand means I just do damage. Right. Okay. And my last one up is Parallel City. I actually cut out my pseudo Wudo as you were looking through my Pokemon line. Um, just for my Parallel City, I had a long talk um, with Finnegan Lynch, who is a great player. He got top top 16. Uh, he had a win in today, but uh, unfortunately he had lost. Mm. And he also got his um, his Worlds invite today. Nice. So he's at, exactly at 400 points. Perfect. Yeah, but he's been my coach and he's helped me a lot with my decks. And he suggested me to use Parallel City. And Parallel City, um, I'm sure a lot of Guard of the players know uh, and really love Parallel City just because you can either limit their bench to three or even limit your bench to three. A lot of the times when I was winning matches to close out the game, I would parallel myself. I would put four Pokemon on the bench. Like, if I didn't have four, I would place another one. I would parallel myself so I could get rid of the Leles, the Leles. or a damaged Pokemon so they wouldn't be able to get game. Yeah, which is really good defensive strategic goal move that you can do. Mm -hmm. And also, since there was a lot of Galissapods, even just placing, when I did that, I would place them on minus 20 damage. I even played a Gyarados earlier in the day, actually, or earlier yesterday. And he thought he had knockout because he had both, all three magic corps. So that's already, what is it, 180 mm -hmm. plus 30? Yeah. Plus 30, and then choice fan, so 240. So he thought he had knockout on my Gardevoir. But since I had parallel up, he was doing he had, 20 less. He, 20 less, so he had 220. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty brutal, actually, but this is the card that won me that matchup. Nice. Okay. And several others, actually. But. Awesome. Finally, the energy count. Mm -hmm. Yep. So my energy line, fairly simple. So we have we have seven ferret energy. Um, so in the energy retrieval spot, it could be an eighth or an eighth ferret energy. I really like eight ferret energy, especially with Sylveon, even though this ferret doesn't play it. Um, I love to, like, it's really important to attach turn one, or just to get your attachments in as much as possible, of course, because Gardevoir loves energy. Right. And then, like, seven, is, I think, is the least amount of energy you should ever run in the Gardevoir deck. Exactly. Yeah, seven, it feels like that good number, but it's also that risky number. Yeah. And then... I also have four double color synergy, which basically says 60 extra damage for Gardevoir, or it allows, um, well, Sense of the Blade needs, uh, for Gallade, needs a double color, so that's what you usually put on it. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys, that was the deck list right there. All right, guys, so that was the list right there. So what was one of your toughest matches of day one? Okay, for day one, let's see what I played against. Um, I actually didn't have too many matchups that I was too scared about. To be honest, I think Gardevoir has a really good place in the meta. Um, for the matches I did lose, um, I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head, but I don't remember any matches where I was like, oh no, like I don't think Gardevoir. Or, I think Gardevoir has a tough matchup. I guess. Actually, there was one matchup, and it's Nightmarch. So I started off the day playing Nightmarch. And I think Night March is a tough matchup because they're able to get going early and they're able to get the cards they need early. So if they're able to kill like my if they're able to kill my baby Pokemon, so my Ralts, my Curlia, 
I mean, even my artillery early, I can have a tough time. Of course, Oreo, or Oreo is my saving grace, and just because Garbar is such a bulky Pokemon at 230, it, it, they have a hard time knocking out. They need 10 Night Marchers and a Choice Man, and that's not... I mean, it's hard to happen, but <laughs> it happens at the end of the game a lot. All right, and then going into day two, what was, what was your mentality of seeing so much Zoroark around you? I actually love seeing Zoroark around me. Just because I have Gallade, well, even Gardevoir, just because they have such a hard time killing Gardevoir, they can't one-shot it, even with a full Sky Build bench and Choice Bad. Oh, I, I didn't get one. Um, they only do 210, so that's not enough, and then I'm able to Acer roll it up even if they try. But Gallade's able to one-shot them. They can kill Gallade, but if I'm able to stream it, it's not that bad. Um, I wasn't too familiar with the variants that happen, um, the variants that were running red card, and that's actually, I think it's a great card <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, I was red carded in one of my matches, and I got nothing in my four cards. I ended up, it was turn two, and my only support I played is Bridget for my setup. So they had N, and I had a good hand. Nice. But then they bridged me after, I mean, they red carded me after, and I drew into Versus Seeker, Versus Seeker, Ugh. double colorless, and a rescue stretcher, and I pretty much had to scoop afterwards. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, do you, are we going to see you at any other regionals? Do you have any other big events that you are planning on going to? Yeah, so um, I'm definitely going to head to uh, Costa Mesa, just because uh, I live in San Diego slash LA, and the LA area, mm -hmm. so I'm around, it's easy to go to. Then I'm going, I already registered for Oregon, so you'll see me there too, and uh, I'm hoping that I can do a little better, even though day two at the biggest regionals ever isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, you you still made day two, which is amazing. I I have lots of faith in you. I think you're gonna do very well at both Costa Mesa and Portland. So I wish nothing but the best for you for both moving forward. But yeah, all right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video so then you know what got 39th or 29th. 29th place at day two of Dallas Regionals. With that said, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.